Hello everybody and welcome to your 20th C Sharp XNA tutorial. So, uh, last tutorial I felt it was a bit a, lot, a bit vague and I never really explained how much was going on. I made a lot of errors, so uh, this tutorial is going to be different. Uh, so, to explain what's really going on, so if the line is set to center, uh, then what it's going to do is going to calculate the total width and the total height of all the menu items combined. Then if the axis is set to 1, so if it's on the, the menu on the x-axis, what we're going to do is divide, we're going to subtract the, our dimensions from the actual screen width and divide that by 2, which will give us the starting position that we need to put to specify. And from that, then we'll be able to equally align the menu items uh, accordingly so that uh, um, they'll be perfectly centered and same for the x-axis if i mean for the y-axis and if we don't if our line is not sent to center set to center then we set position equal to a regular position uh that's if we specify one and if we don't then it'll be set to uh, vector zero so right here we just gotta set this vector zero so c sharp doesn't complain and we're gonna get rid of this code right here And what we're going to do is we're going to take this dimensions code and we're going to place it right in here. Now, uh, one thing that we need to notice is that right here, we're calculating, we're doing our dimensions calculations based on our menu manager font. But remember, our menu manager font is different than our animation font. And therefore, we're going to get run into some errors if we're using different fonts for different measurements. So what we need to do is go to animation.cs and add in this right here, this property uh, for the sprite font. And what we got to do is uh, right here, when we calculate our animations, we got to say temp animation, temp animation dot count minus one dot font is equal to our, our menu manager font. So therefore, our calculations will be correct and we'll set it to the correct font that we want. Okay, so now we know that our calculations are going to be correct for the type of font we're using. Uh, so now we've got to uh, do a, a few more things that are, are very minimal. So if axis is equal to 1, then we're going to say position y is equal to screen manager dot instance dot dimensions dot y. Subtract dimensions dot y divided by 2. And then for this, for else, we'll do the same thing but with x. With x. Okay, so what's going on here? So what we're doing here is that for every single item, for every single menu item we have, we're going to align that menu item. We're going to centerize it. So we're going to align it according to the center. So this calculation, it centerizes whatever we need. So let's say, for instance, let's say our screen width was equal um, to 400, and we had a picture that was 100 pixels wide, and we wanted to set that equal to the center. Well, 400 subtract 100 is equal to 300. 300 divided by 2 is equal to 150. So we know that this, we should start drawing at the pixel 150. And therefore, if we start drawing there, then it will be perfectly aligned. If we, if we start drawing at pixel 150, then the center of that image will be at the pixel 200. And then the end of that image will be at um, the pixel 250. So with this method, uh, all the menu items will be aligned accordingly. So if we run this, uh, if we run this program, let's see what we get. So all our menu items are aligned perfectly. And uh, this is going to be the end of the tutorial. And uh, the next tutorial, we will be learning about um, doing different things with the menu item. So setting like the link or setting. So like what the menu item is linked to. Now, I, I will end up for those of you who actually get it. Uh, what's going on, but for those of you who just need a visual representing a representation of what's going on here uh, Then I will I would just show you quickly uh, I, I just want to I want to help out everybody as, as best as they can So let's say the screen is of uh, 400 pixels wide. So whatever. So let's just say that This is our screen. Okay, and Let's let's get a line uh, let's say a red line, and let's just say this is the halfway point. 
Okay, so we want to draw a box. Let's say we want to draw a blue box at the center. So we want it to be like right here. But the blue box is 100 pixels wide, okay? So we know that this from here to here is 400 pixels. We know the halfway point is pixel 200. And we want to centerize this box. So we say 400 subtract 100 is going to be equal to 300. 300 divided by 2 is equal to 150. So this pixel right here will be 150. So we start drawing from one the pixel 150. And then the halfway point of that image will be at the pixel 200. And the rest of this image will be drawn. So whatever the width or the height of the width of the image is, it will be centerized using that calculation. So I hope that visual representation helped. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. The more you comment, rate, and the more you subscribe to my videos or whatever, the more, the more videos I'll be making for this series. So thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.